guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a pretty little thing haul and it's a pretty big haul like I ordered a lot of stuff <laughs> um so yeah don't really know where to start but yeah I'm just gonna get into it because otherwise it's gonna take me all bloody day or it took me all bloody day to get my bloody makeup on so okay so I'm gonna start off with these earrings that I got because I can't tackle the clothes just yet. Just before I get into the video, obviously I'm going to have everything linked below. I did only buy them in like the last week or two, so hopefully a lot of them will still be in stock, but I don't know for sure. But you can just click, <laughs> click, you can just click the link below and you'll be able to find them. So yeah, these earrings, not going to lie, I thought they were going to be a bit better quality, like a bit chunkier. Um, but like they look nice, they look chunky, so that's all that really matters. I paid five forty for these, which is okay. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Like it's fine. Well, pennies would probably do them. Like you know, pennies or Primark would do these for like one fifty. But still, they're cute and they're nice. And like I just, yeah. They're nice, okay? Earrings just like make an outfit. Like I feel like it can take it from like, mm, to like it. First of all, I got some cycle shorts because I am obsessed with cycle shorts at the moment. So I got the slinky ones in grey because everyone seems to be raving about the slinky ones. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why the slinky ones are literally like 18 euro. Yeah, they're like 18 euro or something. I paid 14.40 because of the discount. Uh, I think they're twenty percent off, which they pretty much always have off, I guess. So it's not the worst, but like just because they're slinky, <laughs> slinky. Um, but yeah, I really actually do love these. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna probably get them in black. Uh, like I don't know why they had to sew on the label through there. It really annoys me because it looks like really annoying when they're on. But like we'll let them away with it. It's not the biggest deal in the world. So yeah, they're so comfortable. I'm pretty much obsessed with cycle shorts at the moment. And like I literally have nothing else to say. Um, and I love the shade of grey. They called it charcoal. I just call it like grey. To be honest, it's not really dark enough to be charcoal for me. But anyways, it's fine. I also decided to just get a pair of normal black cycle shorts. These are, these are just jersey, like normal leggings. Um, and I paid 5 40 for these, which is a huge big difference from 18 euro, like, now. The quality is obviously not the same, like, they are a bit see-through. They're not, well, they're not see-through, but they're not as, like, completely unsee-through <laughs> as the slinky ones. And they're not as, like, thick, kind of, you know? But they're still good, like, especially if you're wearing a baggy t-shirt over them anyways, like, you're only going to see the smallest amount. So, yeah, I got the slinky, cy slinky cycle shorts in a size 10, because... I'm usually a 10 and then I got these in a 12 just because I usually size up in like normal jersey leggings because I feel like when they're a bit bigger and less stretched they're obviously going to be less see-through so yeah and I would recommend doing that with them because like you can get away with it with leggings you can get away with leggings being a tiny little bit loose like they still cling to you and they don't look too big you know so next I got this cute pink top I just loved the colour of it so much um, I think it'll be really nice with like anything like I've already worn it with a pair of tracks with bottoms that I have from Skylid and um, yeah just the colour just is so cute and so nice wear it with shorts or anything like I'll definitely wear it when I'm away yeah I just love these like bandeau kind of style tops at the moment and it, again this is like the slinky fabric so it's pretty good quality yeah it's cute I love it Barbie vibes everywhere so I also got these pinstripe trousers. Now I'm not sure if these are in stock. I know that the white ones are still in stock unless they've come back in. I'll link them below anyway so you'll know if they are or not. I've worn these so yeah the elastic's gone a bit dodgy. I mostly liked the waist of these. Kind of message. Um, I mostly like the waist of these, excuse them if they're dirty, I've worn them. So they have elastic in the waist, so they bring your waist in so much, like it literally cinches your waist, waist in so much. <laughs> and then it has this little like split, I think it's called, mm -mm -mm. 
cut out waist skinny trouser that's what they're called uh, i love that kind of vibe you see it on skirts but i really liked it on the trousers because i was feeling trousers and they're quite um tight like on the model they looked like they went out a bit more at her ankle not out more but like they weren't skin tight like how a legging is they were more like trousers on me i don't know if they were just a bit tight on me um they were like pretty tight they were like leggings no they weren't really really tight but and um, yeah like I don't have the skinniest legs ever but they yeah no I'd say they were a nice fit I don't know if I even would have went up with size because I don't know if they would have been as flattering Um, but yeah so I got these in a size 10 I love these I definitely recommend I'm definitely gonna wear them again in a different kind of way It'd be cute with a blazer I actually brought a blazer to wear with them and then I don't think I actually ever put the blazer on because it's pretty warm at the moment but yeah they'd be cute with a blazer I don't know yeah I paid 14 40 for these next I got this top that I've had my eye on for ages now I love it but I don't know what the story is because on the model it looked so much looser and like oversized and the end was kind of like flowy but it had a bit of under boob but on me it's like really tight like I don't know if it's a size like I got it in a 10 and I'm like my waist and up there is like the smaller part of me so a 10 would usually be like absolutely fine um, up there but I don't know I don't know if it's just me I don't know if they were wearing a bigger size or something maybe the models are. <laughs> it's probably just me I don't know why I'm blaming them but um, yeah so I don't know if I'm going to send it back and get a size up or not because I do still like it I don't know I feel like I saw it on someone else and it was like tied on them as well but then on the model it was going to be different so I don't know also the models have like really really skinny bods but I like, still have really nice like perfect perky boobs and like probably bigger than my boobs which is really upsetting and um, so I feel like it just looks better on them anyway I don't really know I'll insert a picture of what it was like on the model as well anyway so if you guys could help me with what to do with this one I'd greatly appreciate it because I feel like I need it because I don't know what to do I like it I just hate sending stuff back but I have other stuff that I definitely need to send back anyway so I've no excuse god I hope it hasn't been over two weeks actually because then I can't send them back I got this um, leotard and these are like everywhere I feel but I just really like them and I haven't actually bought one yet with like cute little buttons um, now I don't know like maybe I've put on weight I don't know what it is, I don't know what's happened, but something's happened because this is also a size 10 and it's also too tight for me. Well, no, it still fits me and I don't think I'm going to send it back now. Like, you'll see in the trial clip, but this part here, like where the part where the buttons are, is like a part, like there's like a gap between, you know? So that would like suggest that it's obviously too tight where, um, my boobs are but like I don't even have big boobs and I tried it on without a bra and the try on clip so that's like you know I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know what's wrong with the world maybe I don't know I'm just glad I don't have a boob job because it will be a serious problem if I did I'll probably still keep it like do you know what it feels pretty like short in the like length as well and I don't like I've my legs are longer than my torso I don't have a really long torso or anything but I don't know look I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on but I'm sick of it I'm really sick of it it's not boosting my confidence either anyway yeah I still like them. so I'm probably gonna still keep it even though I think it was like 20 something euro yeah I paid 17.60 with discount for this so with 20% off so I think that's a bit much for this to be completely honest with you like I think it could be 15 euro maximum but I mean I still bought it so and I do like it like and I'll wear it loads you know I can wear it in loads and loads of different ways I can wear it when I'm away I can wear it when I'm here it is like pretty small I'm not gonna lie to you like it actually is pretty small even the sleeves are pretty small but yeah I still like that I, there's not really much to say about it I mean you guys can also tell me if it's too small for me to say look like stop trying to fit into clothes don't fit you and you need to stop and I'll do it <laughs> now so that's that section finished and now we're on to the six euro dresses and I've wanted to try out their six euro dresses for ages because like they're six euro and they actually look unreal like they look really really nice on the models 
So, I did it. I tried it out. I got three different ones. Well, I thought I got three different ones before I actually arrived, so I must have actually ordered a fourth one by mistake, I feel. Like, I know what happened. I think I ordered this one, this white one with the slits down it. I think I meant to put it into my wish list, and you know the way you just have to click a size to put it into wish list? I think 14 might have been the only size that they had in the wish, like, that was available. So I clicked that and then put it into my wish list, and then, um, I saw the green one and I got it in green instead, and yeah, I don't know what happened, but anyway, like, who cares, it's six euro. And like I'll just send it back anyways probably because it doesn't fit mine. Fudge cake. I just remembered that it's flipping Father's Day at the weekend. It's fun, it's on Tuesday. I have loads of time. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the white one that um is a size 14. But uh yeah, I like I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not even that big, like it does no, it is. It is too big. Um and I don't really like it. Like I think the slit the like slits are a bit tack and a bit much. It looked way nicer in the model. <laughs> Shock. Literally says everyone it looked so much nicer in the model. Um yeah, that's all I really have to say. Like just it's the wrong size, so I'm done. And then the green that I got, I just really liked this green, it looked really cool in the model. I wish that I got a different dress in this colour because they have like four different types in this colour and yeah I think it's just a bit too tack like it looked it really cool what well, it looked cool in like a casual kind of way but I don't know I don't know that's the thing I don't know you can't wear knickers with it as well knickers <laughs> you can't wear knickers you can't wear underwear you can't wear underwear um with it as well because that that's left at the side and I don't really know if I'm able for that so <laughs> I don't know if I'm sending it back yet or not, I haven't decided, but, yeah. Like, I was thinking it'd be nice for, like, a holiday, but I'm not going on, like, a kind of holiday where there's, a, like, half casual, half fancy vibe. Like, I'm going to New York, LA, and Vegas, and all of them are either casual during the day outfits, bikinis during the day in Vegas, or else, like, glam, 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 glam at night so there's not really any room for this baby and if it were here the, if people should like you are disgusting so I don't know okay it's only six euro anyway that's the problem that's why I keep saying it's only six euro but Emma you bought four dresses for six euro so it's not really just six euro anymore is it next I got this yellow one which is inside out and I love this colour at the moment, it's everywhere at the moment, this like a luminous kind of yellow and I do way prefer the style of this dress because it's more on the casual side of things, if you could wear it with a belt, you could wear it with a cool bag, you can wear it with like perspex heels, you can wear it with runners, like chunky runners, like I think it could be really cool and I do like it and I want to keep it but like the main problem, I can't believe I haven't mentioned this yet, is that they're all pretty see-through. Like, the fabric is just not good enough on any of them. Like, literally on any of them. Honestly, all of them are literally see-through, so I don't know. This one's probably the least see-through. This one and the green one, the white fabric is really bad, so I wouldn't recommend getting any of the dresses from the 6 euro section in white, that's for sure. Because you can just see everything in them, like, literally every single thing. Like, I think I'm going to have to blur out most of the try-on part of this haul because you literally can see every single young thing. This white one is the last one and the most see-through. I got this in a 10. I forgot to mention the sizes of the other ones. I got the yellow one in a 12 and it is a bit loose but I'm happy about that. I got it in 12 on purpose. And because yeah I feel like that style of one can be a bit loose. I got the green one in a 10. That's a perfect fit. It's just I don't know about the see through situation, the knicker situation, all that, and then this last white one looked really nice on the model. Shock! And it's like the handkerchief thing, I think they call it, and it goes down like that. Actually, I paid less for these if it was 20% off. No, they're still six euro. I don't know. Yeah, they're still six euro. It's very rude, isn't it? Anyway, 
yeah I like this and I wanted to wear it with my like belt and like with like my vans or else with like heels I've got loads I had so many high hopes for this I just want a nice white plain bandeau style dress and I looked at the pointy little hem thing but it's just too see-through like I'd have to, it's so see-through that I'd have to buy a second one and wear two of them together I don't know if I've got to size up maybe but I like how it fits like it fits me perfectly it's just that um it's too see-through I think it's just the white fabric like I'm done so yeah I'm gonna probably have to send that back unless I like wear a slip or something under it but I'm just shouldn't have to do that you know anyway so yeah my vibe on the six euro dresses is that I don't really know if they're worth it I'm in two minds some of them are some of them aren't maybe size up in them if they're ones that you can get away with it and probably just don't buy any of them in white to be honest there's other colours as well but yeah oh like I wanted to wear that yellow one with the with like a bum bag thing and like it would be so nice I think I'm just gonna keep it I'm gonna keep the yellow one anyway I think actually no I don't know if it's too see through okay anyway comment below and let me know what you think I should do what you think I should keep because clearly I'm really undecided and I really need to send them back because time to run out and it will be past two weeks to send them back so hopefully I haven't left it too late anyway thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed buying all of these things and I will see you in the next one don't forget to like this video subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Record dropping now, those tracks are selling. So Cayman's making some record, record, record. Wow. Yeah, homie, check the repertoire. Jesus saw my speed down, waiting for the heavens call. This one's for the kids like me who never had a chance to ball. And bitch, I made it because I never gave myself a chance to fall.